It's funny how your role model This idea that becomes the old model At the hotel asking for more bottles Minaj A plus one, I'm fucking full model They call me Logic, motherfucker better know the name I spit crack like push it, Nova came Logic is in every, every he's a, genre He's a rapper for every man and woman mm -hmm. We never dumb it down, you know we just numb it down And watch you get up in your feelings when we come around He can do it all and he wants to let you know and not just tell you, but show you. LA Sunday, the New York Monday. Looking at the BET cipher like I'll be there one day. It's the rock. Reincarnated, we call it visionary. Fuck the world till I'm on top, we call that missionary. What up, motherfuckers? Jungle peeps. We jungle beats. Where you going, bro? <laughs> I was like... I have more business to do. Man, man man's had business. My mm. name's Rose Beef. I'm Alexander Sandalis. AKA Jiggy Jungle Beat. The boy in white. And we're reviewing Logic's Everybody Dies, the third recent single mm -hmm. from his upcoming album. Sinatra 3. Sinatra 3. Four? four. Wait. Four, four, four. My yeah, bad. Four. Sorry. I just agreed with you without even thinking. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're excited as fuck. Uh, I really loved the last single. I loved how he went to the old school sound. He had hard bars for fucking days on that motherfucker. And I really hope that's what we're going to get in this album. We will see. I just to let you guys know, um, before I go away, that no. I'm giving away this sweater. No one's got... won? Huh? No one's won yet? I haven't picked anyone yet. Uh, there was this guy called Alex Sandalis that I thought was in the chat. I thought he probably deserved it. You think he did? I think he deserves it. Uh, well, I'll have a look at his comment and I'll make sure you know he's following us. <laughs> he got like 30 likes on that bitch. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. Fuck, what a good guy. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> oh sorry, all you gotta do is like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and or Twitter. The more you do, the more likely I'm going to see it. And I'm going to give it to one of you mother beautiful peeps. Because I love you guys. We don't sell it anymore, so it's kind of deleted stock. Why, do, why don't we sell it? Because I took down my whenisee.it.com website. I sound like a door creaking. Maybe that's my rap name. Yo, door creaking. I'm a creaking door. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Logic. Everybody does. Nice trumpets. Yeah. That would have been good. Oh, I love this beat. Those streaks. Two for two, Logic. You mean two for three? What's the other one? That. No, that won't be in the album. That won't be in the album. Fuck no, that won't be in the we'll album. We'll see. We'll see. It won't. I'm counting it right now. Well, there was no. Well, this one's called Sinatra, Sinatra Four, and the last two tracks I've heard have had uh, throwbacks and examples yeah. of that previous things sense. from previous. Whereas I'm the other just, one had nothing we whatsoever. We just don't know yet. Maybe we a bonus track. Bonus shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man, that was a. Uh, mm. I don't know which one I prefer more, that one or his last track. 
I would have to go listen to them side by side. Yeah. But I, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, fuck, do I like this more? Especially towards the end where he kept overlapping his vocals, went between the more high clever. pitched and the lower, and it just kept inning and outing and overlapping, and it was inning so Yeah, like a dick. Exactly. It was so fucking good, man. I love that beat. It wasn't too overdone. Uh, and he, I feel like the first two verses, he didn't try and go too hard. He just laced the beat. He just like wrapped he wrote up the beat. He wrote the beat, he but he didn't, he didn't try and do too many double times or go too crazy with what he was saying. He just right. kept it real simple and boombastic. Boombastic, exactly. And then in the last verses, when he sort of sped it up a bit, did a bit of different stuff, which I really, I really fucked with because he, you know, you kind of got different essences of logic, like. And I, I think, think that's, that's, that's what he was saying do. in the song. Mm-hmm. If you're listening, yeah. or if you guys are listening too, you could hear like, this, Logic is in every... Every he's genre. A, he's a rapper for every man and woman. Mm-hmm. He can do it all. And he wants to let you know and not just tell you, but show you. Mm-hmm. And I tend to agree with him. I don't think he's supreme in every uh, quality, yeah. but I think he's good to great. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty good. I think he's great. And I fuck with him heavy. And I'm really excited for this upcoming project. This is another really dope track. I can't wait to go back to it again. Woo! Yo, how do you feel about Logic saying he's sitting on five unreleased albums? I feel like it's just empty words. I feel like every rapper's got five unreleased albums, man. I think that's a very good uh, response. I feel like every every rapper of his quality and uh, popularity have got so much unfinished shit, man. So him just saying it's empty. Kanye's probably got 50 unfinished albums. And then, you know why they don't release them? Because they're unfinished. But man, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of lines on this. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to like go in the bars with logic. You know you're going to be sitting here for 10 to 20 minutes with tracks like these. I appreciate the rhyme scheme. I appreciate the dynamic flow of this track. You kept it engaging and interesting. And I appreciate that, Logic. Another one. Keep them coming, baby. 100, man. With Jungle Beats. JB. Drink more water. And, I'm, and subscribe. And love your asshole. Oh, man, like I- you love your own son. Treat it. I probably got one of the cleanest assholes. I seen shit John Lennon couldn't imagine. Just me and the mic on the main stage spazzing. Just the type of shit normal people can't even fathom. So much swag, kiss your bitch and she orgasm. I'm hazardous. You would've sworn I was from Nazareth. I'm resurrecting hip hop like it was Lazarus.